Hi guys, welcome to week five in our April series, Big News. Um, this week is our last series, uh, so there's gonna be a lot of fun activities and a lot, of great, a lot of great ways to wrap up just what we've been learning about, which is Jesus is alive, and that is the big news that we need to go and tell everyone. So this week, our first activity is just gonna be fun um, for your twos and threes, it's Simon Says. Really simple, we all know it. Um, you can take them outside and even do that because the weather is so beautiful and they have so much energy right now. If you wanna take them outside at that beginning part and do some fun like Simon says out there, like Simon says, go down the slide and then they can all go down a slide. Or Simon says, run in a circle. You know, just anything like that, they're gonna love it. They're gonna love being outside, um, getting their wiggles out because they have so much right now. So um, that's your first activity, inside, outside, doesn't matter to me, whatever you guys prefer. Uh, read your class and you can go from there. After that, you're gonna head down to your fours and fives class for worship and uh, our Bible story. And this week, our Bible story is the story of Peter and John and it's basically, the story of they're going out and a man who is crippled, he can't walk, uh, calls out to them and wants money. And um, they say to him that they have something so much better than money to give him. They have the gift of Jesus. So um, they tell him about Jesus and then in return the man, because of his faith, can walk again. It's a really great story. And it's also kind of focusing on that idea that we can go out into the world and tell people that Jesus is alive. Um, so to wrap up that, when you guys get back to your class, we have two activities. Um, now. I would recommend you can do them both at the same time, or if you want to split them up, uh, one at the beginning, one at the end. I think that always works really well for our twos and threes. They have such a short attention span that doing two crafts at once uh, might be a little hard for them, but it's kind of both are for different reasons. One's to wrap up our memory verse and one is to wrap up the story. So if you actually want to do your memory verse one first at the beginning of your class, even before Simon says, uh, that might be a really great idea. But um, So your first one is called World and it is a memory verse review now. Uh, just a reminder, this is our last week, so your kiddos, if they know their memory verse, they can come tell me and then get a prize from the prize box. So they could work on this at the beginning. It's a great way, and then at the end of class, they can come by and they can tell me their memory verse. But each kiddo will get this piece of paper, and then we are going to have some green tissue paper that they get to cut out or crumple up, and they get to glue to all the different um, pieces on the map or on the world that are land, so you might need to help them with that. And then they get to color in their water, so it's just a fun kind of 3D um, picture of the world. And just a reminder that um, they can go and make disciples of all nations. So that's their memory verse. So that would be a really great thing for them to do before, maybe right after they get back from their Bible story. And then after that, they're gonna do their actual craft, which is very simple. It's just this piece of paper. And it says, telling others about Jesus is the best gift I can give them. And that's kind of the wrap up to their story. So if you can tell, there's four little squares that we have here. Um, we're gonna do a little Christmas in in April, so I have some uh, wrapping paper for you. All you're gonna do is um, kind of prep, to prep this is you're gonna cut out squares out of the wrapping paper. Um, maybe just get one big line and then cut out the squares. And then you're just gonna let your kiddos glue the squares onto the square on their paper. So it's gonna look something like that, but all four squares. And it'll just be fun for them because you can tell them, what do we use wrapping paper for? Well, we use it to wrap gifts. And our, the best gift we can give anyone is the gift of Jesus. So that'll help them kind of understand it a little more. So that's going to be their craft and their take home uh, for today. So that's all I have for you guys. It's going to be a really fun uh, time together. Make sure to go over that memory verse. Uh, I think that they are loving it and they're really getting it. And um, I will see you guys this weekend. Thank you so much for serving. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thanks, guys. Bye.